So here we have our biogas psychrophils from Digester 4 in Cordova in Alaska that has been shipped by Adam Lowe to Germany. And it's uh, been in this bottle for quite a while, since November 2nd of 2010. For three, three and a half months it has been sitting in this bottle. You can see some bubbles in there. We're going to see if there's methane in there. The temperature in the room is 16.1 degrees. We see that it does light. As we can see, it is on flame. There's quite a bit of gas. So we see after the first flame event that the pressure is released and the bubbles are now coming up probably saturated in there by the pressure because it was closed for so long. Experiment we hear we hear the pressure. You can hear that. So there is a lot of pressure in there. As you can see, it's quite on flame. burning event. Another thing we observe now that we have released the pressure is that the bacteria are able to make more gas. You can see it now rising up. This is all happening at 16 degrees. So there is active gas production at this temperature. And we see the flame rising up. Hi, this is T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities. Today is February 19th, 2011. We received yesterday, on February 18th, this uh, bottle of psychrophilic bacteria from digester number four in Cordova, Alaska, sent by Adam Lowe, uh, the science uh, specialist on this project at Cordova High School. He prepared this on November 2nd of 2010, and then it was hand carried by Dr. Katie Walter, from Alaska to Germany, to East Germany, and it sat there for a while in the cold room and was just sent by our friends over in East Germany to West Germany here in Essen. And now we're experimenting with it. We showed that it did contain flammable methane and that it is continuing to produce methane. And so the bacteria are active and we're now at about 15, 16 degrees Celsius. It was stored with wood chips. We need to give these guys a new home. And the new home is gonna be this 60 liter beer barrel. And we've prepared a way to create a digester without penetrating or damaging the barrel in any way. We just do everything through the top. And so what we have is the sacred cow idea. This is the cow's mouth where we'll feed. It goes through the cow's throat into this plastic bag. That's the throat of the cow into the stomach of the cow, the first of two stomachs. This is the acid phase digestion stomach. And then we have a, an output here so that what the first stomach of the cow digests can then go into the second stomach, which is the barrel itself. And that's where the methane will be produced. We also have a slurry output. Normally we would put them on the side, but now we're trying putting it in the top so everything can be done nice and neatly from the top. So this is where the spent slurry or the digestate comes out. It comes out from about the middle of the tank. And the pressure of the gas and the addition of new food and water should elevate this level so that it can come out because we're going to put the feeding pipe taller than this and water will seek the same level. So if we put our feeding pipe about here, then when we put new stuff in, old stuff will come out. So it comes out from here and out. We've got a valve there so we can close it so we can allow gas pressure to build up. And then there's the gas outlet itself, which is found in the top normally. 
to the topmost portion of the of the uh, top of the tank and then the gas comes out here. So it's very easy once we've made these little assemblies to then pop them inside of a tank. And the same size lids fit both the 60 liter tanks that you can get at Bauhaus here in Germany for about 28 euro and they fit the 110 liter tanks which cost about 44 euro. So you can make the top and then use them for any size of the standard HTPE tanks that they sell at the Bauhaus and make that work. So that's the basic idea here and we'll um, now work on putting in the surface area that we want to make the tank uh, more friendly to bacteria. What we're going to try this time is we're going to try using these electrical conduit sheaths um, they sell in Bauhaus. They've got a lot of surface area because of the ribbing and so bacteria should be able to occupy both the outer surface and the ribbed inner surface so it's better than having a smooth uh, smooth tube just like in our own bodies with all the microvillae you have a lot of space for chemical reactions to occur on the surface of these and this really radically increases the surface area because of these uh, invaginations that are there. So what we'll do is we're going to put a coil of this down at the bottom uh, and that'll just sort of be a place where bacteria can live but the ones inside won't get much food and then we're going to dice up some as little floating chips that we'll put throughout the solution for them to occupy more levels of the water in here because water is not a great place for bacteria to do their metabolic work. They like to form biofilms or glycocalyces on surfaces. Just like when you get a film on your teeth, bacteria that you have to brush, the bacteria do prefer to form their, uh, their commensal colonies and symbiotic colonies, their consortia, like little cities in these biofilms. So we want to create a lot of space inside the tank for bacteria biofilm growth. Hopefully that will increase the amount of food that they can take in and the amount of gas that they'll produce. Some of these I just feed into the mouth of the cow and let them collect at the bottom of the bag. That gives the bacteria a home inside there and then the overspill can come out here. And that is the finished digester next to the normal intestinal flora. In these tanks, we have the psychophil treatment here.